Hey guys, this is just a very small and simple tutorial video on how to change ground textures in Rollercoaster Game 3 using TaxMod and the packages that Oddsplice has made for it. This will just be a very simple follow me tutorial that's been requested a number of times and I figured it would also help to kind of shed light on the fact that this is actually possible. And yeah, the basic introduction of what TextMod is exactly and what this does with your game is TextMod is a program using which you can open and modify textures from games and then create text create packages of that and using the program itself open those packages and open the game but you don't actually modify the game itself you just launch the game using text mod and you only get these custom textures and other things if you launch the game using text mod so there's no real harm to it as far as i know when it comes to your game itself though Old Spies did say that he's not responsible for any problems that this might cause, but um, it has been proven to be pretty safe. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download TextMod. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. You don't have to install anything, you can just go to this website, it's safe. It'll automatically download, um, you've got a readme which says some stuff, you don't really need that too much. Um, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to put it on my desktop so I know where that is. Make sure that you still know where it is just so you're able to open it later on because you're going to want to open this thing every single time that you're going to want to open the game with these different textures so make sure that it's an easy to find and a uh, location that you know where to find it actually and um, second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download all spices packages that he's made for this these these are basically the things that you need to load into text mod before you can open rollercoaster in 3 with these new textures and um, this will take a while, hold on let me skip that so when you've downloaded these you're going to want to extract these to any location on your PC I'm just going to extract it to my desktop because that's easy for the sake of this tutorial you don't have to open these every single time that you want to open the game um, but I'll show that right now um, once you open text mod, you can see this thing that looks pretty complicated. You don't have to worry about logging mode or package build. You don't need that as long as you are not modifying the game yourself, since Oddsplice has already done that for everybody who wants to do this. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your Rollercoaster Second 3 directory where you, also, where you also install your custom scenery and all that stuff. So your local disk, program files, Atari Rollercoaster Second 3. And then you're going to want to open the RCT3+. Plus. Make sure you don't open the installer, by the way. And the second thing that you do is um, you're going to want to open these files that Oddspice has made. Uh, so the modding files themselves. So for this case, I'm going to want to go to my desktop where I've saved them and open those both. And um, you'll notice that when I opened that thing, there were already some things in that. Um, you could already see the extras and the ground in here, which is because I've installed those earlier on. Which means that as soon as you've loaded this, you only have to do this once. You only have to browse for them once, and after that, for the rest of the eternity of having TextMod, they will stay there. Hell, even I tried to get rid of TextMod just for this tutorial to make sure that I didn't have those things yet, but they were still saved over there. Um, but this is actually all you have to do. Now you can click on run and it'll automatically play Rollercoaster Second 3. This is not the usual launch, so you're not using the um, actual game itself. You're not modifying the actual game itself. But this does mean that every single time that you're going to want to use these custom textures and extras, you're going to want to use this launcher rather than using Rollercoaster Second 3 itself. Alright, so once that slow poke is finally loaded, yeah, you'll notice that once you open the terraforming, you've got a load of new textures that you can use. The old ones have disappeared, you cannot use the in-game textures and the new textures at the same time. Um, but overall, I just find these textures to be a lot better. Um, it really just depends on which ones you like more, which ones you're going to want to use. Um, but one thing that these textures do have is their resolution is twice as high as the in-game textures But other than that they work pretty much the same way You can just scatter them around as you're used to with the in-game textures There are some textures that don't blend and some textures that blend very well and um, Just a variation of different grass textures snow textures and rock textures kind of like you have in the in-game version as well uh, so that's pretty much what's new. There's a couple of other points which people don't really see as much, but they're very subtle changes that I actually do like a lot. For example, the color of the sky is also changed actually in this. Um, what's you, what you will notice in the in-game without changing the textures with this program is that the sky is going to turn red as soon as it's 1pm. But in this version, that weird sky U is not going to happen until it's actually evening, which is something that I really like about this. Uh, you'll see that it only starts turning red 
after about 3 p.m. and even then it's going to be a very slow and subtle change into the um, night sky. Um, the night sky, by the way, is something that I should probably also notice, um, probably also say is very different. It actually has a different star texture, so you don't have the weird Milky Way band anymore, which you have if you're using the in-game textures. And um, you may also notice, but this is just a very, very subtle change, is that the clouds have a slightly higher resolution. Uh, one other thing is also that if you place lights, um, let me just get Vodheen's lights, for example, over here. Uh, let's see, there we go. And let's place one of these down. One thing that you'll see is that you'll get a bit of a uh, star U effect, which you actually don't have with the in-game light effects, so that's a very subtle and nice change as well. I think that's pretty much everything that was really noteworthy about this. Um, I really recommend getting it, even if it's just for the ground textures, it's some really good stuff, and... It just helps a lot trying to make more realistic stuff. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, one thing that I should probably note at the end is that this does not work the same way for the Steam version. To be exactly sure how to do it, if you have any problems, you might want to check out the thread, which I did link in the description, because there are also some feedback comments on how you, sh how you should get it to work on Steam. Um, the way that you generally do it is you change the textmod.exe to rct3plus.exe. So once you launch the game on Steam, it actually opens textmod rather than Rollercoaster Can 3. And you also change the game of the Rollercoaster Can 3 Plus executable to something else, doesn't really matter what. And then you open that using textmod. Um, but it sounds pretty complicated when I say it, so check out the thread if you've got any problems with that. Or any problems with this thing otherwise. Uh, but you can also leave some comments. So yeah, see you guys.